So just how long does it take to set this up? Let's have a look. Now I've already seen it online and it looks like you've got your Cody stick. You've got um, a, a power adapter for the socket and you've got a USB. Oh, look at that. Right. So this is the actual cord stick then. And it's a HDMI connector uh, with on the side when it comes into focus a micro USB socket. Remote control, which I'm presuming I'll have to get batteries for. Nope, the batteries are included in that as well, which is good. Uh, there's the plug with the USB and the other cable is the USB to micro USB, which is the power adapter. Right, so. into here put the batteries in slides off there it's a smart little unit that goes on to there and we'll take off the protective covering that's off Right, so, ah, uh, right, this is if there isn't enough space, so you've got your uh, HDMI connector there, which will be the same as that, but obviously if there's no space, that goes in, and then you connect that to the dongle, like, like so, yeah, so it just becomes like that. I don't think I'll need that, but we'll see, and I'm hoping that I don't need that, but we'll see. Uh, I've got a Samsung TV and we'll just have a look on the side. Okay, so looking at the back of the Samsung, we've got a uh, HDMI socket that's free there and we've got a USB socket that's free there that's five volt, one amp. Uh, so obviously the uh, Fire Stick's gonna go in the HDMI and then hopefully the USB socket We'll power it. Right, now then. So there's the micro USB. So we'll pop that in there. Get the stick and let's move everything out of the way. Get the stick and see if it'll go in there without the adapter. I don't know if it will. Oh, it's a very tight fit. It's too tight to fit. So it's like I'm going to be using the adapter. So if we get that, pop it in, and now pop that into there. So that's it connected into the HDMI. Get the micro USB again and pop that in. Now hopefully, as I said, this is going to power the fire stick. So Put that in, pop that in there. Right, now let's turn it on and see if we can get it fired up. Right, we'll put the TV on. Make sure that we've got the right source. Change the input when it's ready. I think we were on HDMI 3, press that. And hey presto, the fire stick is firing up. Having never used one before, I'm presuming it's, oops, I'm presuming it's pretty much like, um, like a set top box. All right, so press.
So it's asking me to press this button here. Oh, there you go. And now it's saying press this button to start it. Uh, let's go through the setup then. So we're on to English United Kingdom. Right, okay, so that didn't work with regards to the USB. So let's try something different. Let's pause it. All right, so to get rid of that, I'm going to use the uh, supplied uh, three pin power point and plug the USB into it. When it's all set up though, uh, the purpose of using this was to take it abroad and I don't um, fancy using all sockets and everything. So I'll, I will be trying it with just the USB power to the back of the TV. So let's get this set up now. Right, so that's it. It's plugged directly into a socket so it's getting all the power that it needs now. And we'll just go through that again. Alright, so again, let's press play into UK. No, oh, no, right, I need to set up a network. And obviously, to navigate, if you've used one of these before, you just press left, right, up, or down. And if you want to access it, then you just press the center one and it gets it like that. I'm just going to pop the cord in. Now, I was a bit surprised that that wasn't a QWERTY keyboard on there, but nevertheless, we got there in the end. It's connecting to the whole network. And there we go, connected. So this is a brand new stick, this, just delivered today. Uh, we'll see if there's any updates for it. Nope, no updates, which is a good thing. So he knows what my account is. We'll carry on. We'll keep the passwords. No parental controls. Well, while we finish setting up your device, let's take a quick tour of your new Fire TV stick. Now you can watch your favorite shows and movies just by talking to your Alexa voice remote. Press and hold the microphone button and ask for a title, actor, director, or category, like this. Search for Happy Feet 2. Skip ahead two minutes. Or catch up on your favourite show. Find Bosch. It's easy to browse through episodes and recommendations. Just use the outer ring to navigate and press the centre button to make your selection. Or use your smartphone as a remote. Download the free Fire TV Remote app from the App Store. Many of your favourite apps are available for Fire TV. Now with the power of Alexa, you can get info about sports, news, even the weather. Remember, press and hold the microphone button. What's the weather? You can even control your Fire TV with your favourite Echo device, hands-free. Fire TV is even better with Amazon Prime. In addition to unlimited one-day delivery, your membership offers unlimited access to tens of thousands of popular movies and TV shows, and all your photos and videos with Prime Photos. And don't forget about music. Amazon Prime members can listen to over a million songs. Just ask for a specific artist, genre, or try a Prime playlist. Easy, right? Enjoy your new Fire TV stick from Amazon. Right, well, that was a nice little catch up on uh, how to operate it, save me going through the basics. All right. The sole purpose for this, or should I say the main reason for this, is I want to take it on holiday with me. I'm going out to Indonesia. Uh, I'm going to use um, a VPN, so I should be able to use it out there with no problem. Um, and I'm also going to put Cordy on it as well. So I'm going to. Just choose the first app and then I'll do all the rest. So which popular streaming apps do you want? I'll put I'll put some of these on, but first of all I want to um 
I want to search. I'm presuming I can search. Hmm. Let's just pop these on. BBC News. Um, anything else? Sport. BBC Sport. Uh, yes, I want Spotify. Uh, I don't want any of the others to be going on with. And press play to continue. Download those apps. Right, so I said I'd try um, out of the power socket and being powered by the uh, USB socket on the TV. Now that's five volt and one amp and it's powering it perfectly. So again, just to just to show, I'll use the voice control. Um, fi find Sneaky Pete. There you go, so voice control, it's worked fine. Play Sneaky Pete. Here's Sneaky Pete. Green. That's where. Just pause that. So as you can see, if you've only got the, if you're short on uh, power outlets and you've only got a USB socket, that seems to be working fine. I've been on the internet. Um, I haven't seen anything where anybody says it's not working. So crack on. So some things that you can do with the voice control. Play Imagine by John Lennon. Imagine by John Lennon. more find the preacher so if you've never watched the preacher on Amazon it's um, it's worth a watch uh, I've seen episodes sorry I've seen seasons one and two so now season three if I'm not mistaken is in the process of uh, of being nearly finished I don't think they're all done yet though no no so we're up to uh, episode five uh, but that's amazon prime video for you which is a really really good thing all these for i think it's about 79 pounds a year you get next day delivery on on the majority of amazon products as if they're if they're prime um you get your amazon prime video with loads of films and series that are all included in it i, I hate to say it but it's it's pretty fantastic uh, so to sum this up I've got the fire stick all set up with a, a VPN on it so that I can use it abroad um, because it's got the VPN I'll be able to log into uh, BBC iPlayer etc etc and other catch-ups while I'm away and um, big recommendation on this extremely easy to set up I mean what I've done with the uh, with the Nord VPN and with Cordy takes a little bit of doing but all the rest of the stuff that it that it either comes preloaded with or is in the amazon app store a doddle to download and the uh, the voice controls pretty damn good as well and you'll have seen that with jeremy clarkson using it so all in all big recommendation if you like what i've shown you then subscribe if you don't don't but it's free for you make the most of it